When Barack Obama was first elected president back in 2008 or 9, both Rush Limbaugh and also Mitch McConnell, a Republican leader of the Senate, both said they hoped that he failed. I was uncomfortable with that. I mean, I know what they were saying about his policy stuff, but I, I thought that was a little extreme. Well, when Donald Trump was running for president in the campaign, man, the anger and the just vile stuff thrown at Trump was was pretty much beyond the pale. I mean, every Republican that gets accused of being racist, misogynist, you know, a bigot, a homophobe, all that stuff, that's just standard fare for Democrats to throw at Republicans in a presidential election. But it, it reached a new level this year. And then when he won, oh my goodness, the shock that took over the left was incredible. I just watched in amazement. But then Trump actually did some things that were pretty cool. And, and I had my own concerns about Trump. But he met with CEOs, big business, small businesses, union leaders, did some deals, saved some jobs, got some commitments to build some facilities here. I mean, who could deny that was not pretty good? Yet the left got even crazier as that happened. And I just scratched my head and I just could not understand why until finally it dawned on me. I think I know what it is. And it's what Democrats and the left really fear the most about Donald Trump. It's not that he's got access to the nuclear codes. It's not that he'll become a fascist. It's that he might actually be successful, especially in the realm of the economy. And you know what, let me be honest. I've always said that the government needs to get out of the way so business can do its thing. And that's the best that can happen for the economy. And so the government can't really do that much. However, taxes and regulations have just grown so much that jobs have been stifled. Jobs have been killed because of government. So if he does roll back the taxes, if he does reduce the regulations, it could have a dramatic impact for good on the economy. You know, one example I heard one of the CEOs say after meeting with Trump that he told Trump they were going to build a plant here in the United States, but the EPA told them it would be eight years before they could be approved. He said they took their plant to Mexico and within 18 months they were functioning. If Trump can make a difference at that point, it very well could be huge for our economy. And if it is, if he is successful in that regard, Democrats, it will be DOA for you in the next election. So what they fear the most, that he's successful.